My son asked me the other day why it looked like I'd been wearing goggles. I was like, I was like, baby, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, I don't sleep. I don't love you anymore. And I can't, breaking my heart. You're going down a path I can't follow. We'll talk about the ways you can do preparation for your character, the way you can map out your character's journey, the way you can think about your character's relationships to other roles in the film, the way you relate to your director, the way you audition, the way you do green screen, the way you can use your physicality to affect a character, and also just mainly how you can create your own set of tools and your own influences so that you can uniquely do your job. I'm Natalie Portman, and this is my masterclass. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Lewis P here. Today what we're gonna be talking about is the Natalie Portman Teaches Acting Masterclass. We're going to discover, is it worth it for you, whether you're an actor, an aspiring actor, an advanced actor, or even just someone that's curious about the actor that is Natalie Portman and wanting to figure out more about her process in all her movies and just getting into the mind of who she actually is as a person as well and how she really treats her profession. And as always guys, I have a link in the description which you can take advantage of. I don't know exactly how much it is based on your region. Of course, I'm in Australia, so you can get two masterclasses, two all access passes, which gives you access to all the masterclasses for 280. But of course, it's gonna be different for everyone in every region. So if you wanna go like split it with a mate or split it with a friend or a family member, you know, take advantage of that while you can, uh, especially when a lot of people are home due to like coronavirus and all those things, you know, a lot of people are really gravitating to this, which are actually quite informative and they do help you from a career perspective. They help you from so many different angles. And of course, if you are an actor, this should be a tax deduction because it is an educational play for your own work. So take advantage of that. So the way we're going to answer, is it worth it for you, is actually do a deep dive into the actual class itself. So first and foremost, I want to get you comfortable into the actual masterclass platform. Make sure that you're comfortable using it, what all the little noggles are, the community, looking at the class workbook and all those things. So we're going to look at that first and then we're going to dive right into the class. There's going to be a little timestamp that's going to pop up on your screen right now of when we do the deep dive into to the actual course material. That's where I log into the class as though you've just invested in it. So if you wanna skip there, go for it. But for now, this is for everyone that's relatively new to Masterclass. They wanna know a little bit more about the platform. They just figure out what they're actually investing in. Remember, this is an investment, not just an entertainment thing, in my opinion, at least. So let's jump into it right now. So the way the Masterclass works is it's a relatively new company. And here are some of the actors that you get with the All Access Masterclass. Of course, Samuel L. Jackson, Martin Scorsese, if not one of the best filmmakers on the planet today, and probably in our lifetime, as far as I'm concerned, you know, Jodie Foster, some really, really talented people. And of course, the nature of Masterclass is they get the best of the best. The best of the best of the best, sir. <laughs> Yeah, with honors. <laughs> of course, Masterclass works on all your devices, your TV, your computer, your mobile, your laptop. A lot of people, when they head off to work and they're on their way to work on the train or whatever, obviously not right now with coronavirus kicking in, but hey, you know, a lot of people have downtime at work now. What they do is they just, you know, they watch it on their TV or they watch it on their computer. It works on Windows, Mac, Chrome, everything, Google, whatever you have, it'll work on it. Of course, endless education. It's anytime, anywhere. So you have access to it all the time, unlimited downloads. You can watch it as many times as you want. They have recommended articles which you can check out as well. No issues with that. Pretty powerful stuff. Masterclass often changes this landing page. So when you click my link in the description below, you're probably going to see a brand new landing page. So have fun with that. Otherwise, this is the current landing page that they're currently using. So by all means, have fun with that. Take advantage of it if you want to grab it. So what I want to do now is jump into the Masterclass itself and show you what it's all about. So let's do that right now. So this is exactly what you see once you invest in the Natalie Portman Masterclass. I'm going to firstly take you into how this all works, how the masterclass program functions, and we're going to look at the workbook. And then we're, of course, we're going to look at every single one of these classes and really just give you an overview of them and how they all work and all those things. So first and foremost, go grab a coffee, go grab a tea. This is going to be a long video. There's a lot of things that we're going to talk about because you want to obviously make an informed decision before you invest in this masterclass. As always, guys, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help this channel out a lot. So let's jump into how this masterclass works. Of course, you have the search function, which you can just type acting if you want 
to. And then of course, you're gonna see some really, really high quality actors, provided you actually invest in the All Access Masterclass. Of course, there will be the option to just invest in the Natalie Portman Masterclass. If you wanna do that, go for it. But if you get the All Access, you get all of these, which is pretty cool. Then you have categories, which really have masterclasses on different films. You know, you have Jodie Foster, you have Helen down there, who is an absolute goddess. She's amazing at what she does. You know, you have lifestyle. So if you're into like Bobby Brown, the absolute makeup professional, I'll have a link to her masterclass in the description below as well, because she's an absolute monster at what she does for a living. And she is actually extremely competent. But the point is, you can see you have a very large range. You have culinary arts, of course, the Gordon Ramsay, the Thomas Keller, Alice Waters, one of my favorite masterclasses ever, the way she teaches home cooking, amazing, very powerful categories. And that's why I have the All Access Masterclass. And then of course, the community. Now, let me just stop everyone really quickly. And the way this community works is you have two big communities. So you have this community, which is the overall masterclass community. And then you have the active community within this masterclass. So let me clarify that for a second. And then you have the Natalie Portman masterclass community here, which is just those that have invested in the singular class or of course, all access, but they only discuss Natalie Portman's masterclass in this community. However, with this community up here, this is everything. They have contests, they have networking, so you can network with other actors if you really want to. And then there's student highlights. So what happens quite often is and Natalie Portman may come back and give everyone an assignment, which is pretty powerful. And that is where the real value lies in this masterclass, where you actually have the opportunity to have direct contact with these professionals. And, you know, then you just apply it to all of the people that are on here, whether it's, you know, lifestyle, where you can actually have a conversation potentially if that comes up with Bobby Brown, or in this case, Mark Jacobs, or whoever it is, very powerful stuff. Then you have quick lists, which are pretty relevant. I don't think you need to even bother with that. Now, if you invest in the singular masterclasses, which you get for a lifetime, of course, you can actually have access to my classes. I personally have the all access, so I don't use that at all. And then of course, this is just your profile stuff. You know, you can browse trailers if you want to, if you're interested in certain masterclasses. But the big one is of course, giving the gift of masterclass. You are, you definitely want to check that out for like birthday gifts, Easter, Christmas is a big one for masterclass. Take advantage of the gift section. Giving the gift of education is uh, actually much more powerful than uh, a lot of people would otherwise think. So let's jump into the class workbook now. All you need to do is click on download workbook. It'll show up right there. You can see it's very high quality instantly. And what I'm going to do is be really respectful for those that actually invest in this masterclass and only show you the first two pages just to be like, because imagine if I'm just going to give everything away and you have someone that's actually investing their money, their time into this. So here is the Natalie Portman Teachers Acting Masterclass. And if you want to pause this video, go for it. This is the first page. By all means, go for it. It's uh, have fun with that. I'm actually going to zoom in for you. If you want to read this, this is a, a pretty good overview of what's happening and what she's all about and how she's like played in Thor, V for Vendetta, Star Wars, the, the trilogy that is, and obviously some other big things. So check that out. If you want to pause the video, if you want to do that, by all means, have fun reading that. I'm not going to show you anything else uh, because I want to be pretty cool to, you know, my classmates, if you will. And then if you want to jump right into the masterclass, you just have to press the big red button and you're good to go. Of course, there are resources, which is exactly the same as the class workbook. There's nothing really more than that unless they end up adding things to this. This is a relatively new class. So now let's jump into the actual lesson plan. Let's dive into every single lesson. Make sure you have that coffee. Make sure you have that tea. This is going to be a while, but hey, we're going to get through this together so you can make the best informed decision for yourself whether or not you're going to invest in this. And as always, guys, I have that link in the description. If you're going to jump into this, have fun, jump into it, rock and roll. Let's do it. The first video is the introduction. You basically meet your new instructor, otherwise known as Natalie Portman. She has won Oscars. She is a self-taught actor that has started from the very bottom. When I say very bottom, I mean child actor. So she has been in this industry for longer than most people have actually been alive. So very powerful. She has built a repertoire of personal techniques for developing characters and shaping performances. And she will share with you exactly how she's done that. So this is really just an overview of who she is. This only goes for three minutes. And while I'm here, I'm going to just show you how the classes are really structured. So the way the classes are structured is you have the video lessons and then of course you have the lesson discussion. Now, of course, the lesson discussion is not to be confused with the community. Lesson discussions are comments made on behalf of the community for that specific video. I'm just throwing that out there. The tick just means that I've completed the masterclass. So you're actually getting someone that has done this. Lesson two is all about getting to know your character. So to fully embody a character and of, and of course, whether you're an aspiring actor, this is laying the foundation for what you need to learn. You first need to gain a thorough understanding of what makes them tick. Natalie teaches you how to dig for illuminating details, create a personal timeline and, and analyze influential relationships. So some of the core topics that are in lesson two, getting to know your character, is develop a timeline for your character, map relationships with other characters, find the details that make your character unique. Now, I just want to stop here. So map 
relationships with others. So that doesn't just apply to other characters. That actually also applies to objects in the room, how that person actually looks at the environment, what you really see in this masterclass, which is the most powerful thing in my opinion. And this is the demo. So working with sets, props, and the camera crew. This is where she will go up to a director and you see how she actually communicates with the set designers. You see how she communicates with directors and videographers. And this lesson 17 is by far 10X the value of the entire masterclass, in my opinion, just this lesson alone. But we'll get to that. Let's go back to lesson two. So not only does she look at finding the details that make your character unique, you need to not judge your character. So don't judge them. And she goes into the reasons behind doing that. Because of course, once you become an actor, you need to really have the most important thing, which is of course, active empathy, which she talks about in lesson two. Lesson three is all about smashing that like button for the YouTube hacker. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So lesson three is all about developing your character through research. Now, real life resources are invaluable for developing your character. Natalie Portman explains how historical research, documentaries, and even YouTube, where we are right now, videos can help you understand your character's motivations and behavior. I found this one actually to be one of my favorite lessons. And that's because she talks about one of my favorite masterclasses, Chris Hadfield, which I'll actually have on the top right of your screen right now, if you want to go check out the Chris Hadfield masterclass. But the point is, she talks about how she was playing a space character and she actually used Chris Hadfield's videos when he was in space on how to act and how to float and all those things. So very powerful how she's utilizing YouTube as a source to motivate and inspire and really ultimately gain knowledge about characters, especially in this case, how she was uh, doing the, the space film. In lesson three, they talk about draw your character from real life events or real life people, aka Chris Hadfield. Use documentaries to inform your character. Use YouTube as a resource, absolutely powerful. Learn the historical context for your character. Invent what you don't know and research ahead of time. So researching ahead of time is really important. So some of the big things that she does is before she even shoots, she actually spends an entire month working with dialect coaches. And what's really powerful about this masterclass is you actually see this. So lesson seven is actually working with a dialect coach yeah, and she's amazing. It's so funny. They speak French and you actually mimic them while the class is happening. So they, they say these like do and war and swa and you actually do it during the class, which is quite cool. Repeat after me. Okay. Le, le, je, je, que, que, besoin, besoin, monsieur, monsieur, justement, justement, n'importe quoi, n'importe quoi. Either way, lesson three, developing your character. So doing the research, spending a good two weeks to a month before you actually start filming in order to develop them and research them. Pretty powerful. Lesson four is developing your character's physicality. So what does that mean? So you will need to use your body. Of course, that is a, a mandatory thing. Natalie teaches you how to find the right movements and physical exercises, as well as how to use your wardrobe and makeup to really embody that role. So some of the topics include root your character's physicality in emotion, let your character's psychology psychology inform your movement, play with movement in relation to the camera and other actors. And you actually learn that in lesson 17, which is of course one of my favorites, working with the set props and camera and basically her method on how to do that. Then of course, it's getting creative within the in-between moments. Use your appearance to connect to your character, let costume inform your character's movement. And she goes into exact video references, movies that she's played in to pull that off. Using your costume to inform your character in her movie, otherwise known as Jackie, very very popular movie, obviously. So lesson five is really going deeper into film and understanding scenes and, and physical gesture. So Natalie shares three performing. So Natalie shared. So in lesson five, Natalie shares th three performances by actors who have inspired her, breaking down how they use physical movement to reveal character in inspiring ways. So some of the topics include use real life accidents, a woman under the influence, very powerful, try the unexpected before the devil knows you're dead, which is an amazing piece of art in my opinion, and find interesting gestures or the in-between moments, otherwise using the performance within the D Hunter, very powerful. And you can see one of the comments, just what I wanted. You know, she doesn't be as around, she gets exactly to the point what you need to know. Once you understand developing your character, the physicality of them, the physical gesture, getting to know your character, then she jumps right into a case study, which is lesson six. Natalie reveals how she prepared for her role in Black Swan, amazing film by the way, as a ballerina losing her grip on reality, which included being involved with training with ballet instructors for months. Some of the big topics in this lesson is a lot of like small nuances that you pick up, and that is accepting the constraints of your body, just understanding who you are as a human, 
communicate your limits to avoid injury, especially when you work with instructors. In this case, it was a ballet instructor. Relate the physical to the emotional state. So utilizing your entire body in order to betray what you want to betray, which is pretty powerful. Lesson seven is dialect coaching research and practice. This is amazing. What's really cool about this is you actually now communicate with her primary dialect coach, otherwise known as Tanya. Tanya is so cool. The way these two communicate with each other, it's like you're actually involved in a session of Natalie Portman studying for a film. So when preparing for roles that involves a foreign language, in this case, it's actually French, whether it's accent, dialect, or the language itself, of course, Natalie works with her dialect coach. In this lesson, they both demonstrate how they really collaborate to shape the voice of the character. And I love it when they speak French. It's so funny. What they talk about is warming up with the vowel sounds, build on your character's place of origin. So understanding where did a character grow up and how is that influencing the way they communicate? And I'm going to take a step back really quickly and just really build on this lesson a bit more and really describe what I what I figured out about myself by doing this lesson. Now, what I've always thought was a problem, which isn't really a problem at all after taking this lesson was the way my accent works, my language, my dialect, the way I use my vowels have always been relatively inconsistent based on my education, my upbringing, and just who I am as a person and learning to embrace that. Of course, I'm an Australian person, so I obviously have an Australian accent. However, I do use influences from Europe, America, and the places that I've been in my life that have ultimately had an impact on the way I communicate. And sometimes I'm going to say A like an American or A like an, like an Aussie. So I thought that that was an actual detriment to the way I communicated. However, what I learned from this masterclass is, you know what, you need to learn to embrace that as a result of just being who you are. So yeah, that was um, a real cool thing to learn in lesson seven. Lesson eight is Natalie and Tanya share how they prepare for Natalie's role in the movie, otherwise known as Jackie, which is of course the first lady, Jocelyn Kennedy. Now, of course, what they do is they study old school film of the characteristics of this character. So whether that's interviews or presenting what the White House looked like, and they go through every little minute detail. That is how she breathes, her hesitations when she speaks, and study the way the character uses her voice and how this person's voice shifts over time. Insanely powerful. I didn't realize actors go into this much detail when they go into the actual breaths and the hesitations of characters. There's a lot that goes into this. Very powerful. Powerful, well done with lesson eight. So once you have a foundation of acting, now it's more so about working on set, performing on camera, working with directors, collaborating with directors, and it goes a bit more into that. So lesson nine is about working on set. So that's essentially working on set, which is great. Lesson 10 is about performing on camera. What are the proper ways to do things on camera? Memorizing your lines, bringing multiple ideas to the table, having a point of view, but be flexible to your director because a director is in fact, he's directing the film. <laughs> so watching playback and what does that mean? Be there for your fellow actors when they need you. Find what works for you to physically evoke emotion. They are very important things when performing on camera. Working with directors, building rapport with the director from the beginning of your collaboration can help you deliver a successful performance. But not only that, it allows the director to want to work with you again in the future. So you continue to get jobs with them. You know, there's a reason why Megan Fox, unfortunately, wasn't in the other Transformers because there was a bit of a tarnished relationship there. I don't know the exact story there, but I know something weird happened there with Michael Bay and Megan Fox. But the point is, if you know that, you can comment below and tell me what exactly happened. There's a reason why Megan Fox didn't perform in those successes of Transformers. And if you know what that is, let me know. Natalie teaches you how to navigate this relationship and bring your own ideas to the table, which of course, as an actor, is your every right. Some of the topics include understanding your director's vision and process and how important that is to do. You can't have ego in this world. Give your directors choices on how you can do things. You know, I can go there, I can go there, I can do whatever which is cool. Watch yourself on screen to break acting ticks, which is critical. I mean, you ask any professional in any world or any sport person, they always watch replays of themselves. That is essentially watching a replay. Successful collaborations with directors. Natalie reveals what she's learned from her collaborations with some of the best directors on the planet. So once that's done, then there's a case study regarding that. So unlike many of the directors she's worked with, Terrence Malick doesn't follow the traditional rules of filmmaking. So what she does is go deeper into that relationship and understand how that works. Some of the topics in this one is, you know, you don't dictate to the audience and that's what she learned from that director. You know, you never, you never tell anyone where to look on the screen. So if I say, look up here, that's actually a problem because it means the directing is not right. But in the context of this YouTube video, it's fine because you know, whatever. I'm not creating an amazing piece of art like Natalie Portman is. Uh, I'm just reviewing a masterclass by Natalie Portman. Keep going even when your scene ends. Very critical. Lesson 14 is playing a real character. And what does that mean? So playing a historical 
historical figure requires intensive research into both the private and public sides of that character. There's a reason why actors go and actually visit the character and have a one-on-one -on -one session with them to pick up on their nuances, to pick up on all these little things that are simply not shown to the public. So Natalie discusses how she stays true to the facts about her character while leaving the room for invention and creativity. Some of the topics include you should know as much as you can about a character and what they do, research to inform your character's physicality and psyche, look for more complicated emotions, invent but stay true to your character's authenticity, add value to the character if you think it's going to give more love to the art and what the director wants, but ultimately be authentic about it as well. Lesson 15, assignments in developing performance. So this is where she gives you an assignment. She gives you an assignment for character, assignment for scripts, an assignment for doing research on particular movies that you should probably be looking at. Of course, this is coming from yourself, by the way. Assignment for and then understanding uh, the directors. So very powerful lesson 15. This is where she gives you an assignment based on everything you've just learned thus far. Lesson 16. Now we're breaking away a little bit from acting and going into more nuanced areas of acting, whereby we're looking at improvisation. She spends a good eight minutes and teaches you how to improvise and you should be using your environment. You should discuss boundaries with your co-stars and discuss what's appropriate. You know, if I'm going to choke you, um, you know, let me know if that's okay. If I'm going to spill water on your head, if that's okay. If, you know, Natalie Portman wants us to punch another male actor in the face, if that's reasonable. Most actors will probably say, yeah, go for it, Natalie. No problem. Punch you in the face. It'll be quite fun. The point is understanding those boundaries and, you know, working within those lines. Talk with your camera operator, which you actually see in lesson 17, about where you can go and what are the best areas and what's the lighting and all those things. Now, lesson 17, I've already alluded to this. One of my favorite ones where you see Natalie Portman discuss with the prop specialist, the camera guy, the director, just see how she interacts, which is extremely rare, to be honest. And there's a reason why this comment says this is a great masterclass, because this is a great lesson, this one. One of the most valuable ones by far. And as always, everyone, I have a link in the description, so make sure to take advantage of that if you want to grab this masterclass. Natalie Portman is an absolute beast, so go for it. You know, jump right in. Then lesson 18. Now, lesson 18, you just need to know that she's worked on Star Wars Episode 3. So Star Wars Episode 3 is known as the Star Wars that primarily used green screen in order to portray its story. So if you're going to learn green screen from anyone, it's learning from someone that has worked on Star Wars Episode 3. What does it mean to work with green screen? You know, Natalie offers practical tips on how to approach this unique acting challenge. This is a very, very good one, especially if you're going to be working with green screen. And as most actors do in today's age, you will be working with green screen. Lesson 19 is just general advice as though you would ask her, as though you're sitting down with her, you're having a cup of tea with her, having a coffee with her, you're out to lunch with her. And this is the advice she would otherwise give you if you were on a one-on-one -on -one session with her. So auditioning, how you should be auditioning, what you should be doing, what you should be saying, what you should be asking. Very powerful if you're trying to get a job as an actor. Staying inspired, what does that mean? And what does it mean to a director when you showcase that inspiration? Being an advocate for the people you work with and nurturing your artistic spirit, AKA always learn, always grow. So some of the topics of course is audition advice. This advice could probably land you, most likely will land you positions in the acting world. And therefore the payment of this masterclass is inherently a cost effective as a result of just knowing how she auditions. There's a reason she's been part of the biggest films on our planet right now. Bring desire and humanity to stereotypical roles, advocate for others on set. So backing people up. She talks about a story on how there was a woman who was not being treated fairly by a male counterpart and she stepped in, she worked her magic and you see that girl power really rock and roll because she was actually one of the A-list actors in that set. So she felt that she had the responsibility to take action to back up her fellow woman, which makes her kind of a, kind of a beast when you think about it. Now, lesson 20 is a very short lesson, but a very powerful lesson. And it talks about active empathy. Now, being an actor is of course, all about being empathetic towards the character you're playing. You're literally being that actor. So as you step into a new character's shoes, Natalie encourages to be playful, not worry about making mistakes and having fun above everything else. Because if this is a passion of yours, you need to have fun with it and you need to be able to be flexible. So active empathy, very powerful lesson. Three minutes of that, you know, it isn't a big topic, but it's an important one. So as you can see, you have a lesson discussion right now. I enjoyed this course a lot better than the Samuel L. Jackson one. Sorry, Samuel L. Jackson. I will link to your description below as well if you want to take advantage of that one. Unfortunately, this person was disappointed by the Samuel because he's a great actor. He was not able to teach others what he knows as well, I guess, as uh, Natalie Portman teaches in her masterclass. You already know what the class workbook looks like. I've already shown you this. And that is the Natalie Portman Teachers Acting Masterclass in a nutshell for you. If you stayed with me for this long, thank you so much.
so much. I really appreciate it. I have a link in the description, which you can take advantage of. The price changes based on the region that you're in. So let me know how much you get it for based on, you know, what country are you from and what price are you seeing it by clicking my link. Have fun with it. Otherwise, if you really like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more masterclass reviews, if you want to see more product reviews, if you want to see more educational reviews, by all means, press that subscribe button. Otherwise, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Louis P out.